Today I'm going to go travel by myself to the Dream Forest here. I accidentally, well not accidentally, I didn't really realize how big their coffee was here. This is way too big for me to drink all of. It's the forest. We're here. Like you can just smell the air difference whenever you're approaching like a big foresty area. It just smells so much more naturey, and the air pollution in Seoul is pretty bad. So being around nature is important. They have <laughs> they have rags for you. Oh look, there's a little bug on that one. <laughs> Lots of little bugs. And they have weights, except these ones are chained down. Oh fuck, I think they're bees over there. Oh, that's so Tori. Seven Waterfall Pond. Oh, love this tree. Um, my Hapkido. I didn't um, update you guys yet, so I'm gonna show you some, some moves. I did my first Hapkido class, so I wanna tell you about it. And there's a lot of these little birds. They're very beautiful. Look at that nice blue color. Hi, bird. Who gets lost with a GPS and lots of paths to follow? Me. A growing forest, a creepy forest, lovely, and uh, a forest that touches. I'm going to show you the Hapkido moves, a couple of them that I learned. I, I forget some of them, but I'm going back to class. I'm going to take classes three times a week. It was really great. So sweaty. It's an hour and a half long. I was the newest person there, and it was, I was scared, um, but the, the grandmaster teacher took me aside from the rest of the class and taught me on the side while the rest of the class was doing cool stuff so it's it's hard being so new and a noob I've done this a lot in my life and it's the hardest part I think of traveling of doing anything is that you have to look kind of stupid practice the most actually I should stretch before I do that that's all I'm going to do right now I also learned some other things but these bugs are terrible this is worse than the rainforest I had to get the um the uniform as well and he's like do you want a picture so i do need to practice my balance for hapkido <sighs> really gotta pee tps how did all these people find their way in here i've been wandering around for like an hour or two the directionless adventure We found the waterfall. We made it. We conquered our adventure. We found one waterfall. I don't see the seven. Some of you guys said you want to see more of the shrines and um, more ancient things. So let me show you. Chengyong Wingyong, ancestral shine in Byeongdong. I might have said that wrong, but. The way the rest of this video is going to be set up is in a POV format, so you can feel like you're here like I was. While being in South Korea, I accomplished one thing that I didn't think that I would, and that is actually enjoying riding the bus. Now, it's not the same in every other country. I used to loathe the bus, but now, here in Korea, since it's so predictable, and on time, all the time, and there's even screens that tell you exactly when it's going to come, I can rest assured that it's going to be there, and I get on, and I enjoy the ride, and it's clean, so the buses here in South Korea are much better. These little things overcoming certain obstacles or certain struggles is what makes traveling and expanding yourself and making yourself uncomfortable worth it. Because it grows you as a person, even though growth is small sometimes and sometimes it takes a long time, eventually you'll get where you're going. So 
get on a bus in South Korea, you need a transit card and you just tap it when you get on and then you tap it when you get off. And be sure to keep track of what stations you're going by because a lot of the time it's hard to see the English on the screen but they do have the English as well as Korean on the screen of which stop that you're at. After wandering around in the forest, it was I was a bit hungry and thirsty, so we're going to go to a 7-Eleven and get something to eat, which I am guilty of eating way too much at convenience stores because they're convenient and they're there, but I find them still very fun to go into, so that's what we're going today to get a quick snack. And I think I'm going to get something that I wouldn't normally get just to show you guys. The different snacks. Always look first thing for a triangle gimbap uh, vegetarian version because it's rare to find them but they do have them just not often and when I don't find one of those I look for some sort of egg to eat and if they don't have those then I usually just get ramen <laughs> today we're gonna get this bun thing I don't know what it is but it looks interesting and some jelly which I actually like <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just everything tastes so good here. And then these drinks are very, very popular, especially on TikTok. You get an ice cup and you can mix different drinks to your liking. This is a protein grapefruit drink, which I know that it'll be sweet because it's Korea and everything is sweet. And this is an ice cup and you just mix them together and get a straw. start with this bun and I don't normally eat things like this but like I said I wanted to try something fun for you guys um, there is a lot of sweet very sweet sugary things to eat in Korea cafes and such but this is what it looks like and it's tasty it looks like what it it tastes like what it looks like which is good I mean can't go wrong
This drink is interesting. It says that it's sugar free, but it's still very sweet and tastes like it has sugar. So I don't know what's in it, but there is, I think, seven grams of protein. So why not have a drink and protein at the same time? fails open it with your teeth so you just pour these into the cup put the lid on put in the straw you're good to go it's <laughs> it's fun I have to say and you don't really need to worry too much about um, the plastic usage because as I'll show you later the recycling is really really good here They don't really have a lot of trash bins in Korea. If they do, it is recycling bins. So you mostly have to throw things away on your own, in your own place, and recycle them. You have to recycle, everybody does. I'm finally arriving home and I was pleasantly surprised to see that my host left me a full case of waters for my Airbnb. He was such a kind host and I was so grateful for that because I was drinking tap water. Now don't judge me, I think you can You can in Korea, it's just not really looked well upon. So this water will be very appreciated <laughs> and that is that was my day. I hope you enjoyed the point of view. If you do like this type of video, let me know. Leave some comments for me to answer and stay extra trash I'll see you in the next video.